What is the best investment route to choose for the Golden Visa? Hi friend, my name is Diogo Marques and I'm an independent financial advisor based in Cascais, Portugal. So what are the investment possibilities to obtain the Golden Visa? There are several of them. In this video, we will go through the main ones. Article 90-A states the investment options for the residence permit. The fifth option, and this is a common one, is the purchase of real estate property within specific amounts from 280k to 500k. You can go above, but in specific regions. There is a chart stating which ones, so if this is your choice, you need to be mindful of these rules. The sixth option is a capital transfer of the amount of 500k or higher for the acquisition of units of participation in investment funds or VC funds of funds dedicated to the capitalization of companies, capital injected under the Portuguese legislation whose maturity at the moment of the investment is at least of five years and at least 60% of the investment is realized in commercial companies with head office in national territory. If you decide to buy or refurbish a building, you need to have someone here to look for one, have it in a contract, find contractors, deal with them, pay them and have to deal with the typical bumps along the road that happened with real estate fixings and flips. Also, from a tax perspective, you get hit with stamp duty, municipal taxes, maintenance costs, insurance costs, deed charges, fiscal and legal additional costs. If you decide to acquire units of participation in a fund, they already did all the groundwork. They've added and acquired commercial properties, they collect rents and have a dedicated existing property management company that deals with the all day to day operations. So it's essentially putting money to work hard for you. Also, from a tax perspective, there is a 0% withholding tax on the dividends received per unit of participation. You won't get a withholding tax on the dividends received from rents. Also, Capital gains on both the sale and redemption of the participation units in the funds are exempt from taxes for non-residents with no permanent establishment in Portugal, so it's more tax efficient. As for returns, you will get historical gross annual yields on a commercial or industrial real estate fund of 6 up to 8.4% per annum. The funds typically charge you 1% per annum and 10% at the sale of the portfolio. This means that they keep 1% of the rents every year and at the end, let's say we bought a property for 100k and sold it for 120. The delta, the 20k, you keep 90% of it, so 18k, and the fund keeps the remaining 10% or 2k from this example. So what about Bernie made of schemes and funds with no track record? This is a valid and important question. Just for you to know, in Portugal, there are, at the time of this video, 26 registered funds for the Golden Visa. We only work with four. Our main criteria are Number one, these entities must have been in business for more than 10 years with no formal registered complaints. Number three, the team, legal compliance and management must be responsive anytime we need something. This is our criteria, but what about formal procedures? In Portugal, our local enforcer is called CMVM. In the US, it's the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. In Portugal, it is called the CMVM. They both have the same role as enforcers. CMVM regulates and enforces compliance rules to the funds. In order to keep existing, they need to keep complying and be in good terms in regards to legal and regulations. All funds are required to be registered with the CMVM and you can check at the CMVM's website all their licenses and track records. All funds are audited by entities like Ernst Young, KPMG, Deloitte and Mazars. These reports are available on request, so any investor can see the report of their chosen fund. There is a separation between the funds and the investment company. The funds are held in a depository bank and the investment company just instructs the bank how to proceed based on the fund's mandate. Portugal is a small country with an even smaller segment of the population actively working in investment banking and financial sector. So if there had been any issue in regards to bad practices under the investment route using Golden Visa funds, you would have heard about it by now. In reality, these funds have performed so well that their assets and their management keep growing at healthy levels because they keep performing. How do I get paid? As a registered independent financial advisor, I get paid from the products and services I recommend. The fee is the same across the board from product A to product Z. So if I would be looking just from the economical point of view, it would not make any difference whatsoever. What makes a difference for us is if clients stay for the long run, because if they keep the products, we keep getting paid. 
So it makes all the sense in the world to have people on the right products and happy with their decisions and results. Funds and related services keep performing well, clients remain happy, we keep getting paid. So essentially it all comes down to our fiduciary responsibility to our clients. By remaining independent we can remain objective and have the client's interests put first. This is our key approach, meaningful work, meaningful relationships. If you want to learn more, you can schedule a free complimentary call with us using the provided Calendly link so we can help you with your process. Say strong friend.